Okay, so welcome to Journey and Entrepreneurship. My name is Sunday Gardner, your online travel boss, and I, again, am super excited that you are here. We are here again with our next installment of an amazing woman entrepreneur, and we are going to be talking to Deandra Parrish Warren. She is an independent travel consultant, and all this week, I am bringing to different women who are in a variety of different industries to give you encouragement, tips, and recommendations as you are on your own personal journey of entrepreneurship. And with that, Deandra, it's so awesome to have you here today. I'm so glad that you were able to join us today. So how are you doing today? Oh, I'm doing phenomenal. Thank you so much for asking. And thank you for providing this space just for people to come, learn, listen, enjoy, and just take in the knowledge. We definitely want to say it. thank you for doing this. Absolutely. I've actually enjoyed all of the interviews that I've done thus far and am super excited because you are actually in the industry for which the community is receiving. So you are a travel professional and I always think it's so great for others to hear from people who are actually in the industry that we're speaking. So tell me what you do. Tell me how long you've been doing it. So I am an independent luxury travel consultant. Uh, that's my official title, but you can call me a travel agent um, or an agent of change. Um, oh, I love that. In, <laughs> in July, it will actually be two years, but I have the pleasure of, I've actually had a travel agent since I was about 13 years old. Oh, that's awesome. And I'll tell you how old I am now. <laughs> but <laughs> just know that I'm not a stranger to travel. That's at all. awesome. So what was some of the things that made you decide from the age of 13 to now to actually jump into becoming an entrepreneur? So my life has been kind of a whirlwind when it comes to what I've done. Um, I went to school for one thing, found out I was allergic to animals. So that kind of changed my whole life path. Uh, went into education because it's something that I was good at and had a really strong background in it, loved it, went up to being an administrator. And if you know anything about our school systems, you know that they are in control. Mm -hmm. um, you really don't have a full say-so in your future. Yeah. You yeah. have to make sure you have X, Y, Z number of years. And even when you retire, if you're currently in education and you have not talked to a financial planner, I encourage you to do so <laughs> because uh, you'll find out what I found out is that I was going to have to continue working or significantly increase my uh, retirement fund so that I could retire the way that I wanted to. Yeah. yeah. Um, I encountered a position where I uh, was a part of a reduction in force. Mm -hmm. And while I was out, on that reduction in force, I had a, I had a, a, a good spiritual talk with the Lord. And I just, I just said, lead me to where I should be. Yeah. And he said, he basically told me I need to do what I love to do. <laughs> <laughs> because God and, is not going to ever tell you to do something that you don't love to do. And I think people need to realize <laughs> that, right? <laughs> exactly. So um, I sat back and I did a little research and I came across travel, you know, being an actual travel agent, something that I love. And that's actually what I always wanted to do when I retire. So why not start my business now to prepare me for later? That's awesome. So talk to me a little bit about, because you said you've been doing travel since 13. So how was that? Um, <laughs> so at the age of 13 years old, I wanted to put together a college tours trip for my high school. That's awesome. And I picked up the phone book. You were doing group travel at, at 13. <laughs> you weren't just doing travel. You were doing group travel. You are like, I picked up the phone and I arranged. Yep. Like for 20 of us to go there, that's amazing. No, not 20. We had two bus loads. That's awesome. That's <laughs> so too bad you didn't get commission on that bad boy. You know what? I, I'm gonna have to call her. No, I think you're gonna have to do some retroactive commission getting on that. that no, nah, I love my travel agent. I stuck with her for years. As a matter of fact, we actually go to church together, so I just saw her Sunday. So, and she is actually one of the people that when I need help or when I am needing some guidance on how to do something, I lean very heavily on her 20 plus years in the industry. 
Yes. And it's a beautiful thing. You know, it's, it's funny that you say that because I was just thinking about this personally, and this is a little bit off track, but I was thinking about the fact that I probably need to hire a travel agent for my own personal travel so mm-hmm. that it'll get done. Um, and, I somebody. They can and, that. <laughs> and that I think is really something that I need to do because, you know, when you're working, even when you're an entrepreneur and we're in the industry, you'll know people always say a plumber's plumbing is always bad, right? So mm-hmm. I, I sort of throw some shady trips together for my family. <laughs> You know what? We're just going to show up and I'm going to tell them I'm a travel agent. And that's it. This last trip is I'm just going to call somebody. Yes. Yeah, our but last that's, trip is a that's, good example of that. I know my family was like, aren't you in the business, mom? Like, what were you thinking? Um, <laughs> all right. So sorry about that. So let's talk about. You've been, you've been, you've been, you said a travel agent or professional for the last two or th- uh, three years, right? You said two, Almost. it'll be two in G- July. Um, so what were some of the things, even though you've known somebody and you've sort of had this passion, what were some, what were some of the things that you struggled with initially in your uh, startup? Well, I'm going to be honest with you because we're out here to learn. So my biggest thing was trust. Mm. Um, I did, I I really took for granted that people were just reaching out to me just to see if I could beat Expedia or just if I could see if I could beat, you know, the big box vendor out here. And I did a lot of quotes, a lot of quotes. I learned the system very well. So I used that as great experience. But it also taught me the value of qualifying my client. Oh, yes. yes. Good one. And that is something that I encourage everybody to do now. Yes. Start off yes. qualifying your client. And if I would have really known uh, a little bit better, I, w- I would ask a few questions. But now it's a questionnaire. You have to <laughs> <laughs> Don't yes, come over here. It is a questionnaire. Yes. Yes. questionnaire alone is a deterrent. <laughs> Okay. Like, you mean I got to fill this up? Yes. Okay. Like we can't just talk about it. Uh, we'll talk about it after you've completed the questionnaire. Thank you. <laughs> you want to see how serious you are? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, I mean, and that is true. So don't be afraid. If I had to, well, I feel like this. If I had to tell people something, don't be afraid to qualify your clients and make sure that the business that's coming to you is the business that's for you. That's a good uh, other. Otherwise, you will end up wasting your time. That's right. And, you know, I like the way that you said that the business that's coming to you is the business that's for you because not every business that comes to you or every dollar that comes to you is a dollar that you're meant to have (laughs) or business that you're meant to have. So It may be a service fee. You know what I'm saying? (laughs) So I love that. What else um, lessons learned would you like to share with us? Um, the next biggest thing I tell people is to treat your business as a business. You yeah. are an entrepreneur and let's face it, um, for a lot of us, this is our plan B. Mm-hmm. And I mean, even I have a plan A that I work faithfully. So I have to treat my plan B faithfully working it daily. Okay. So I had to set up a schedule for myself two hours here, three hours here. And that had to be dedicated time. I'm not on the phone lollygagging with my friends. I am actually learning something. I'm taking some classes. I'm doing some webinars. I'm doing quotes for clients. I am continuously working to make sure I am an expert at what I'm doing for my clients. And when I, I'll say for myself, I started off because I'm an educator. So I started off truly learning a lot about the business before I even put myself out there Mm -hmm. as an agent. And from there, I realized "Mm, it's still a lot you don't know. So (laughs) then I began to uh, find others to, you know, talk to, talk through some processes, ask questions, see if I'm doing this the best way. Um, for example, one of my processes, it was, it was taking me like seven, you know, seven to 12 minutes to figure out this and really it should have taken me two. Yes. So that's something, even though seven to 12 minutes is not a huge amount of time, when something should truly be taking you two minutes, then that lets you know you need to refine what you're doing. So 
Treat and then your- that adds up if you're doing it repetitively, right? So, so you know, yes. five minutes, seven minutes done mm-hmm. over a course of a day is a lot of time if you know that you can streamline it. So I think having a process in place is important because, you know, many of many of the people who are watching, they do have part, they have full-time jobs. They have silent investors, as I call them, plan A, you know, <laughs> silent like investors that are investing in their plan B or their passion, right? Um, and you still need to pay that, the, the, the time and due diligence that it deserves. But if you really want this to be your transitioned place, you need to dedicate the time now to make that happen. Yes. And sometimes that time is late at night. It is. Every, I, everybody else in the house is asleep, but right. I'm still awake. So. That's right. Uh, you know, I think that's probably one of the number one things that people ask me is, you know, time management. Like, how do, how do you manage your time? And I, I'm like, I don't, I don't really even understand what you mean. <laughs> like, cause I, I, you know, I, I'm like, it's, it's, Why, uh, what do you mean? <laughs> how do I manage the time that it gets done because I've got 24 hours in the day and there's, you know, and everything gets slotted. Everything that needs to be done has mm-hmm. a time and a place and a slot for it. And I make it happen because it's important. Right. So, um, you know, that's a really important thing to do is that you've allocated the time for it. All right. Do you have any other lessons that you'd like to share? No, but I will suggest that everyone get a planner. Um, (laughs) And it doesn't even have to be a physical planner. Mm -hmm. Here's my favorite planner right here. Um, Has built-in alarms. Yep. (laughs) Love it to death. An alarm may go off during this session. Please be noted. That's so funny. (laughs) Now that you say that, I think mine is going to go off as well. (laughs) (laughs) That's why I just slid over and turned it off. (laughs) That's so funny because I actually, I'm trying to lose weight. So I have to remind myself to eat every drink two hours. <laughs> and so I have an alarm to um, eat and drink every two hours, which is pretty funny. So yes, I think a planner is really important, either a written one or a digital one. However, whatever makes it work for you. Um, that's a good one. All right. So let's, you've been in the business now a couple of years. Um, you have a full-time job. Many of the people that are watching have a full-time job as to what is some recommendations or advice above what you've already given to a new person thinking about jumping into entrepreneurship? Well, here's that educator in me. I'm going to give you some ABCs. <laughs> Love it. We're going to start with a, I'm going to tell you to ask any question that comes to your mind, you can write it down first, but don't be afraid to ask any question because if, you, if you're thinking about it, then that means it's a valid thought and you need to follow that thought through. Uh, your subconscious is going to present various things to you and you need to be able to know how to handle all those things. So don't be afraid to ask any question. Um, B, believe in yourself. What you're doing is not an, it's not easy. So start your day with some type of positive affirmation, some type of meditation, even if it's just, I wake up and you think I can do this today. I can I'm make doing it today. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Whatever it is. It done. But yes. You'll never understand the value of putting out those good vibes into the universe because they're going to come back to you. And guess what? If you don't believe me, try it. Just try it. Just try it for four That's or five days. That's advice that will not hurt you if yeah. you try it. <laughs> yeah. And see how it work out for you. Let me know. <laughs> um, and for C, I'm going to tell you to choose your path carefully. Um, whether, Regardless if you choose travel, if you choose whatever it is that you may choose. It's, it's thousands of different businesses out here. But choose your path carefully. Allow yourself to experiment see what you like see what you don't like yes. and don't let anyone else dictate your future it's, it's your future it's what you want to do and it's something that you truly have to have a passion for i get a lot of people why don't you do this why don't you do that because i don't like it you don't like it <laughs> yeah <laughs> i just don't like it i don't like that i want to yes. put on a bathing suit and go to the beach and work that's right. And, and that I feel like it. And, and yes. what's interesting, um, D, is is that, that that advice may come from close by. Um, because it's even my husband, he he's like, Well, why don't you do this? You're a project manager, why don't you open a consulting company? I was like, Because I don't want to do that. That's so, like, I don't, don't want to do it. He's like, but you're good at it. I'm like, I don't care, I'm good at a lot of things, right? Um, so I think it's really important to do what it is that you're passionate about. Yeah. 
Yeah. So that's, those are the th three I things. I love that. that and I love the fact that you put them in acronyms that we can remember. So A is for ask, right? Yep. So don't be afraid to ask for what, uh, whatever comes on your heart, because there is no stupid question. There is no unimportant question. If it came to your mind, it's probably something that you need to get the answer to. B mm -hmm. was to believe in yourself. Yes. That's right. Um, yes. And then also to do, you know, speak words of affirmation into yourself um, and, you know, get the right energy and motivation around the start of your day. I love that. And then C, choose your path carefully. See, there's my alarm. Um, choose your path carefully. I couldn't find it to turn it off. <laughs> um, choose your path carefully so that you um, choose the thing that you are passionate about, it, be it travel or not, whatever that may be. Mm -hmm. um, I love that, the A's yeah. and B's and C's. All right, so what do you have for our audience? Tell us a little bit more about your travel business and what we can expect from you. All right, here we go, here we go. I feel like I should have a... a I know, a we should like have, woo! <laughs> <laughs> but I don't. Like, so, so, I'll tell you guys this. So, uh, this year, I'm actually focusing uh, a lot on group cruises, and one of my biggest things that I'm going to be working with is service organizations. So if you have a service organization, meaning that you have a 501c3, I am the person you want to talk to. Awesome. Uh, I'm going to be doing group cruises. I'm going to be showing people how to take their 501c3s and turn them into fundraisers oh. so that they can have a little fun and raise a little money. money. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Have yeah. a little fun and raise a little money. <laughs> there you go. So that's all good. Now, now this year, now of course, if you still, if my friends need travel, I will still be helping those that are currently in the. I don't know if you can see it, but if you're in the Wonderlust by Warren and Travel Group, mm -hmm. I will still be helping those individuals out with their individual or small group trips. Mm -hmm. But for the next 18 months, we're going to be focusing on 501c3s and helping them move to the next level for those dollar signs. Basically. I love that. What made you decide, you know, so of course you've got my eyes like, wow, what a great <laughs> niche that is. What a great, you know, avenue for, and I love this because that is very specific, you know, and I'm, you know, being the business coach that I am for the travel uh, entrepreneur, what made you decide for, uh, for is it 401 or 403? 501. One of them. You're like, no, you're not listening. <laughs> <laughs> nonprofit. What made you decide to work with nonprofits? So, um, basically, everybody I know has a 501c3 or they're in some organization. I am a member of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. Mm -hmm. And I was talking to our fundraising chair, and it was just actually right after um, I had gone to a training. And I was like, how do you help nonprofits? And then I listen over here and I'm listening to them say, we need help. We need this. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, hmm, I have a solution. Yes. I have a solution. <laughs> yes. have a solution. Somebody who could help you with that problem. Yes. Right? I'm going to try that. So um, it's just something that I thought that I would try. Uh, it's one of those times when I just said, I'm going to listen to the universe. And these two things came together. You could see the hairs on my arm. They're like all standing up in attention because that is an amazing niche. Um, and I can see where there's a huge hole in mm -hmm. servicing them from a travel perspective um, and marrying travel and the fact that they need fundraising activities and how that can all work together. I wish you the very best success in that endeavor and, and love, love, love it. You have something to offer for our DFW area people. What is that? Oh, well, if you are a travel agent and you're in the DFW Metroplex, I do host um, periodically. We're not going to put a time on it. Um, I do host lunch and learns. Uh, and sometimes there are happy experiences where we have happy hour learning experiences as well. Love those uh, <laughs> yes, we call them, that's what we call them. Uh, <laughs> but I do host those. And so you're going to have my information at the bottom. Feel free to, I don't know if it's going to be at the top or at the bottom, but wherever it is, go ahead and click. And you can join the list so that you um, can get more information about it. Basically, I have an opportunity to work with 
variety of vendors. Let's see when I believe we're during this time, we're going to have just finished with Virgin Voyages Mm -hmm. and Mm -hmm. we'll have Carnival Spirit, Pleasant Holidays and a few others coming up for the remainder of the year. That's oh, awesome. And a special guest speaker. Would you know who that is? <laughs> it may be me, is it? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. Yes. So uh, that is what we do. And it's not, a, it's not to, meant to take up a lot of your time. It's just an opportunity for you to connect, one, with other travel agents in the area, as well as to take some time to learn about any new upcoming products. Um, as we stated, we're all entrepreneurs. Sometimes we got a plan A that keeps us from going to other things that are going on. So I try to have them at times when we can actually attend. Yes. Meaning That's after good. Work. <laughs> and for those people who don't know what DFW stands for, that stands for the Dallas Fort Worth area. So if you are in the Dallas Fort Worth area, you do want to sign up for D's list because what I will tell you is for all of us who are independent professionals, travel professionals, and we, most of us, like 99% of us are working out of our homes. Um, There is a sense of isolation. So being able to network with other travel professionals um, is important, not only um, for the relationship building, but it's also good for your soul. So Mm -hmm. You should do things that are good for your soul just because they're good for your soul. (laughs) So um, love the opportunity to get, um, you know, I think the older I get, the more I'm like, I don't want to leave my house, but the more I need to leave my house, right? The more I need to get out there and visit people because every time I do it, I always have such a great experience. So, um, and the fact that you've got suppliers coming out to the opportunity to meet your local, um, your local suppliers uh, or local, you know, sales representative or staff from those supply companies is always great too. I would love to meet Spirit, whoever that is, because I just love Spirit. Oh, I'm very yes. Person who does yeah, let me just go on and give Spirit a plug. That's my bay. Uh, I don't care what everybody. Says. I don't care what anybody else says too. I, don't care. I mean. <laughs> I I am a spirit lover and I know that I probably get some, you know, some negative points on that, but I am a spirit lover and I love $25 airfare tickets. I just do. (laughs) No, I like $23. You're right because it's actually $23.99 if you're part of the club, which I am and you are because you know. (laughs) Yes. I'm sorry. I'm getting on a plane. Oh, that's right. My I'm little bitty luggage. Plane for our trip for fifty bucks while you're sitting at home <laughs> talking about waiting for your t- your trip for five for five hundred. Good luck with that. <laughs> it's so funny. We just I just had a conversation with my mom about that. That I need to like up my my airline experience, Auntie. But it's hard to go from twenty five dollars. It's just hard. Spirit to Southwest. So, you know what I'm saying? That's it. I'll, I'll go to forty nine dollars for that. <laughs> <laughs> Dee, it was so great to talk to you this afternoon. Um, do let um, the information will be posted in this post. If you have any questions, feel free to either watch. And when you watch this in the replay, let us know the questions. We'll be watching it afterwards, or contact D directly, or let me know, and we will be sure to get back to you. And with that, we will talk to you soon. All right. Elbow, elbow, wrist, wrist. Elbow, elbow, wrist. I love that. I have to remember that. <laughs> Hold on. Let me, uh, let me cut this. Let me turn it off. Turn the recording off. Stop. Stop. <laughs> My computer is like, okay, Sunday, I'm ex- you've exceeded the limit.